<clears throat> How you doing? All right. So after last year's rip roaring success of my crucible predictions uh, and back by popular demand is my beautiful assistant, but this time she's in front of the camera, not behind it. Amy. Yeah, you're making me read the names even though I can't pronounce them. That's all right. It's going to be all right. That's I've got work. some notes. I'm not doing the predictions because I want to finish so we can watch the man, the wife and the canoe or whatever it's called. OK. Um, so we need to just rattle through this and I'm just going to pepper it with some interesting facts. OK, let's do it. Which was a bit of a struggle in itself when we're talking about snooker, but I've done my best. Right, are we ready? Let's do it. Also, I've got to say, I'm not sure anyone's going to watch this because apparently you don't know what you're talking about. Who, me? There's been quite a lot of chat on Facebook. And Gary, what, what, Steve. What snooker say, forums? Say they don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't know what I'm talking but about. But because now. they've made 100 breaks, they do know what they're talking about. Well, that's put me in my place, isn't it? Even though they've got massive buckets for pockets. <laughs> but yeah, so. Amy's taking it better than I. Probably I'm don't not. waste your money on placing any bets on this kind of stuff. No. Right. Luca Brassell. Yes. And Dave Gilbert. Right. Ooh, so ooh, we've got the curse and we've got Dave Gilbert's come through qualifying. <sighs> I'm going to go with the outsider there. And I did it, I backed against Luca last year a couple of times and he obviously proved me wrong. But I think with the curse, Dave coming through thing, I'm going to say Dave, that's an, a decent outside bet that is. The angry farmer. The angry farmer. He won't be, he might, he might not be as angry. I don't he? know that he feels like he's on form at the moment. No, but I think that sometimes can help. He's got no expectation, he's just gone through qualifying, he's going to play and that can make a... I can help you. So you're but just we'll guessing see. winners then, you're not doing scores? Uh, no, it's 10, 7. Well, if you're going to do scores, you need to do them all the way through. All right, I'll do them all the way through. Right, Robert Milkins. Yes. Pang. Janju. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, I'm going to go with Rob, but I think that could be close again because obviously... He's not won there, the Crucible, the, the, the lad. I think he qualified last year. I think he played Ronnie, I think. But um, I'm going to go with Rob. Anything to know? We don't know about any facts and figures that you've got about these? About Rob? Well, not anyone, because you said you got Likes facts. Likes a drink. Next one. Don't we all? Oh, did you do the score? 10-6. Uh, to Rob? Yeah. Ali Carter and Stephen Maguire. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. Any Facts about that? Ronnie doesn't like Ali. I think he likes Stephen, rates him. Yeah, I mean, he probably rates them both, to be fair, but... Uh, hasn't Stephen got a wedding ring tattooed on his hand? He has. Do you so, want me to...? No. All right. Make it getting divorced harder. It would, it would, wouldn't it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, I'm going to go... That's a tough one. I'm going to go with Stephen only because he's just come through qualifying. But he's just, you know, he's just massive, that is. When it's an even game like that, that's massive. Match fit. Absolutely sharp. Sean Murphy, and another name I can't pronounce. Uh, Lu Louis. 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 Uh, Le Leo Hoshan. Louis Hoshan. Hoshan. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with Sean. 10-6. I think he, he, he was a shock first round loser last year. Who was sure? Yeah, because he, he lost, but he, he, he came into it buzzing. Yeah. So I think he's not quite got that pressure on him this year. I think he might be a bit more freer. We'll see. Anything to know about Sean? You know? Smells nice. Oh, okay. I can't confirm or deny if he still smells nice, because I've not seen him for over two years. But Why is that? Because you fell off tour. That's true. But I'm back now. On a duck. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do the score? Uh, ten, six. Mark Selby and Joe O'Connor. Fantastic achievement for Joe getting through. But I'm going to go with Mark Selby. You can't look past him. I'm going to go Mark Selby, 10-5. See, I feel differently. What? Because Joe O'Connor yes. is a Scorpio. Right. And he might have a sting in his tail. Most compatible with Cancer, other Scorpios and Pisces. Is that it? Is that what you've thought about? Is that what That's you've my notes, yeah. Okay. This is what the people want, Michael. Hi. <laughs> Kyron Wilson and Dominic Dell. Um, I'm going to go with Kyron. 
because I think he's due, might be due a decent result. Uh, he likes the Crucible. Um, Who doesn't like the Crucible? I mean, the players that seem to play better there, he seems to really like it there. But it's hard. But I'm going to go with Kyron 10 7. Okay. Just, I obviously Googled Dominic Dow. Yes. Said his, on his Wikipedia page, described him as flamboyant. That's one way of describing it. And that he likes operatic singing. I did not he know that. He does like it, Apparently, yes. yeah. when he's won events in the past, he's like, busted out my way. He has Was done it, it my yeah. way? Yeah, well, yeah my way. Might not be that song. No, but... it is. He's is, is busted that out when he won the shootout. And there's <laughs> some manner of semi-final, but that's not interesting, so let's crack on. John Higgins and Jamie Jones. Any facts about this one? Facts and, you know? Just wanted to say I think Jamie Jones has got a nice face. Well, that'll make him feel better. We're buzzing walking out there now, aren't he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I can't see past John because John's John. Um, I go John ten seven. I've lost the draw now. I'm just there we go. bombarded by my own interesting facts. Go on then. Mark Allen and Robbie Williams. <sighs> I'm gonna go. I can't. I'm gonna go Mark Allen ten five because Mark Allen is obviously been one of the best players in the world for the last. Two years now, isn't he? Yeah. So he's, he's, he's yeah, a bit of a machine. He's due. I think he's due a good deep run in this tournament. I read some snook facts about Mark Allen, but I can't remember any of them. But right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I wrote one down. It only took him three seasons to get in the top 16. This is very true, yeah. It's an incredible achievement, yeah. And he's partially colour blind, so he struggles to separate the red from the brown, but... It, doesn't bother putting that, does he? he? Just puts the black all the time, I imagine. This is true. Also, oh, bit of beef with some other players. Right. Who's that? Not a fan of Mark Joyce. Is he not? No. I don't know. This is like gossip. I can't oh, believe yeah. it. Tall gossip. I know. Yeah, oh, okay. he said... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I can't confirm or deny that he said it, but he said, I bet his own mum doesn't even like him. Oh. <laughs> Right, okay. Right. That I was, mean, it that might, was juicy. That's quite It might have been juicy. a while ago. But yeah, but there you go. Oh, Judd Trump and Hussein... Vafay. Yeah. Oh, that could be... Uh, that's a tough game for Judd because Hussein, very, very heavy scorer. But I'm going to go with Judd because obviously he's having an incredible season. So I'm going to go Judd 10, Hussein 6. I saw on one of the forums today, someone said Judd wasn't playing well enough to win the world. and then Is that what he said? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it the same guys that were saying, oh, no? Well, I don't know. But anyway, who else was we talking about? Judd Trump. Yes. I thought I might be able to find some interesting facts about Judd Trump, because obviously he's won quite a lot. Mm. But I found an article, is Judd Trump related to Donald Trump? Is he? No. Well, just in case... Next. Yes. Tom Ford and Ricky Walden. Ooh, that's a very even game, that is. That's an even game. That's a toughie, that is. That's really tough. I'm going to go... You see, I'm swayed by the fact that they've qualified. You see that, what a difference that makes for me when yeah. it's an even game. Aren't they tired, though? No. They're not tired, no, at that stage. I'm going to go with Ricky again because of the, that he's just got through and it's massive. But that could go either way. What so I'm going score? to go Ricky 10-8, but that could go... That is, that is one of them, that. Zhang and Jack Jones. I'm going to go Zhang and... Uh, Jack Jones has won there, though. He's won, he's been to a quarter-final there. But I'm going to go Zhang Ander because he's had a brilliant season. He's very steady. Uh, I'm going to go Zhang, 10, Jack, 6. Do you know how many siblings Jack's got? Jack? Yeah. I don't know. Go on. Nine. Really? I know. I didn't know that. It's, see, I'm educating you. Yeah, you are. Wicked. So, so, so I now, think... Now, it's, now I feel like it's been worth it. So, like, he's number seven, though. So what I can't work out is how his parents got all the way to child number seven before plucking yeah. out the name Jack. Because you like Jack, don't you? Well, everyone likes the name Jack, don't they? Yeah, well, you obviously do, yeah. Anyway, yeah, nine. Nine. What? 
I mean, yeah, so that's, yeah. Right, Mark Williams, Sai or C? We G -ho, G -ho, yeah, so yes, he got to the semi finals last year. Yeah. Uh, he, obviously, a fantastic run for him, uh, but I've obviously got to go with Mark. He's just won that big event, hasn't he? And he's Mark Williams. So Mark Williams, 10, Sai, 5. Ding Jamwe and Jack Lasowski. Oh, that is a that is. If that's got not ten nine written all over it, I've, oh, that is probably a, a terrible jaw for 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 Ding. I'm a massive. I'm a fanboy of them both. To be fair, can I skip that one? Or have I got to? Oh, no, you've got to no. commit. Oh, wowzers. Ten nine Ding. Oh. But I, I, it's just, like, that's just, that's one of them games I want to watch. Like, I literally want, I actually want to sit down and watch that. But well, you won't you, be. Well, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, unless it's at two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. It's my life. Jack. Yes. Left-handed player. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <gasps> and they're meant to be, left-handed people are meant to be more creative. Yes. Might struggle with scissors. <laughs> Tin openers. <laughs> Why? Because everything's designed for the right-handed person. Right, okay, I like it. That's what you've been And also, today. apparently, he's a keen reader. Is he? Yeah. Right, okay. Maybe we could start a book club. <laughs> Gary Wilson and Stuart Bingham. I'm going to go with Stuart, because obviously he's a former champ, qualified, feeling good. He's had not a very good season, really bad season, Whereas Gary's had a great season, brilliant. He's won. He's won two events, but I, that is a good, close one. I'm going to go Stuart ten eight. But that is that is. I just yeah. I think Stuart will be buzzing to be there, and I, I, Gary will probably be buzzing. But this talking absolute nonsense here. But I'm just going to go. Yeah, when it's a tough one, I've got to go with the qualifier for some reason. Yeah. Do you think we can get some feedback from Stuart as to whether it really annoys him when you call him Stuart or any Stuarts? Is that a thing? Is that bad? Yeah, it's annoying. Okay. Add it to the list. <laughs> oh, the last one. Is that it? Ronnie, no surname needed, and Jackson Page. Uh, oh, no, it's no, not. No, it's not the wrong one. But should we do them now? No, anyway? no, no, do them last. Barry Hawkins and Ryan Day. Oh, I'm going to go Barry, but that's a close one. Barry 10, Ryan 7. Barry, naturally right handed, yeah, but plays left handed. Crazy. That is mad. That is, and do you know who plays with the, And with the rest, with his right yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do um, on Mastermind, Snook is going to be my specialist subject. Maybe rethink that. Strategy. Is it Ryan Day? Prolific break builder. Yep, heavy scorer. That was on Wikipedia, but to be fair, it said that about a lot of players in the end. Did it? Yeah. So you're not going to give him that? No. I don't know what I've written there. It was probably really funny, but I right, can't okay. read it. Right, last one. Yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan and Jackson Page. Uh, obviously Ronnie O'Sullivan because he's Ronnie O'Sullivan. Uh, Jackson Page. Very heavy scorer though, and he can reel Prolific him off. Prolific break builder. Yes, he can reel him off very quickly, which... Obviously, to be able to beat Ronnie O'Sullivan, especially over a long period, you've got to be able to do does that. He you can't with, fudge your way Does he to practice win. with Mark Williams as he well? He does, yes. He's, it's he's only going to help, isn't it? Absolutely. So that, that could be closer than you may predict, but obviously you've got to go with Ronnie because he's the best ever. Can we just talk about Jackson some more? Yes, go on. He's a Leo. Leos Lo are good. Loyal. Leo like yourself. Yeah, Loyal. Not compatible with a Cancerian, so this is awkward. Are you a Cancerian? Well, yeah, you'd hope that you'd know that when we've been together 10 years. Well, I mean, I don't really sort of, you know, look for relationship advice as something that just doesn't matter. Ronnie. Yes. Apparently is retiring soon. No way. So I thought he might be really going all at it. Right, is that what you thought? Yeah. He was retiring soon. So he might soon, try really he? hard. I think, yes, I think he always tries really hard on the, on the quiet, doesn't he? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's everything. Right, so that's the crucial predictions. Uh, we've enjoyed it. Um, we have, haven't we? Did you we? do the score? Uh, 10, 10, 10, 6, <laughs> Ronnie. Lovely. That's it. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back for round two.
Well, no, you'll be in Spain. Will I? No. When is that when it goes? Yeah, I'll be. I might be doing my next round too when I'm on my on my Ollie Bobs, lads, lads, lads. Even though he never leaves the house. Never. But this time I am. <laughs> Six days. Pulls in. See Same you later. Help. Yep. Gotta go. Say bye. Bye. Bye.